Hi, I'm Frances Drost, a singer, songwriter, piano player, musician, and inspirational speaker. And I want to talk to you today about how to dress in times of stress. Are you feeling stressed? You're not alone. So I have some ideas for you to consider for your life that might be helpful that I know are helpful to me. First of all, though, welcome to my wardrobe. Now this is my Portraits of White Christmas show closet and it's where I keep special dresses. And I get to choose which ones I wanna wear at any given time. Now in Colossians, it says, dress in the wardrobe that God has picked out for you. Hmm, have you ever thought about the fact that God has picked out some pieces of clothing that would be appropriate for us to wear, especially during times of stress? One of the items that you could choose to put on is prayer. I love sparkles. Prayer makes your life sparkle. And it can be as simple as just sitting and being quiet. I love what Charles Spurgeon said. True prayer is neither a mere mental exercise nor a verbal performance. It is a spiritual transaction with the creator of heaven and earth. I love that, a spiritual transaction. And so here's a few ideas for praying. One, just be quiet and just listen. Set a timer if it's helpful. For some reason or other, that helps my brain. I know that there's a starting and an ending time and my brain is not allowed to think about anything else. And it takes a while, but after you train yourself, a timer can be amazing because it's permission for your brain and your soul to take a break. Another way to pray is to journal. Now, I love to journal, and people get nervous about journaling, but here's an idea that I use. For instance, take a, a, a recent headline, maybe that you've seen on Facebook or on the news. For instance, a while back, I saw the headline, Charlie Daniels dies. I went through so many emotions when I read that headline, and if I would write that in my journal, I could take that so many different directions. I could write as a musician who looked up to Charlie Daniels and his songwriting. I could write it as the wife of a husband who loved his music and introduced me to his music. I could write about a memory I have of finally getting to see him in person with my husband when Charlie was 83 and played his fiddle and sang as if he was still 20. I have so many memories and so many things pop up just when I read about Charlie Daniels. So you can do that too. Did something happen at school or at work that made you blow up? Well, create a bumper sticker, a book title, a headline, and write that in your journal and then start writing. And if you want, set a timer, because a timer, again, gives you permission to engage fully in whatever it is that you're doing at the time. So you can be quiet, you can journal, and then of course there is speaking, or you can sing your prayers, or you can read poems. There's so many ways to have a spiritual transaction. So I say one of the greatest ways to dress in times of stress is to pray.
Okay, let's move on to clothing item number two. How to dress in times of stress. Here's an idea. People. Now think about this. People are an amazing piece of clothing to have in your life. I love what C.S. Lewis says. Friendship is born at that moment when one person says to another, What? You too? I thought I was the only one. And that is when friendship is born, when we find a connection point with another person. But here's another thought. Have you considered writing a letter, a handwritten letter, and mailing it to a friend? Or a card of some kind? Just take an index card and write a note. It doesn't have to be fancy. So, a second piece of clothing you want in your closet during times of stress is friendship with people. And here's a couple questions that might be helpful for you to ask your friends as we navigate stressful times. Number one, are you okay? And number two, how can I help? So there you have it. Your second piece of clothing is people. Hey, welcome back. Are you ready for your third piece of clothing that you're going to want in your wardrobe during times of stress? <gasps> I can't wait to show you. This is a very special dress. I wore this in a Portraits of White Christmas concert a few years ago, and it's one of my favorite dresses because of the sparkles and the white. Do you know what the third item is that I think is so important during times of stress. Well, anytime. It's play. I think that play is important in our lives. So I think of dress up. When I was a little girl, I would put on my mother's clothes and her shoes and anything that I could find that made me feel prettier and bigger than I was at the time. And that's what play is. So what is it that you love to play at? And how can you incorporate that in your life? Is it riding a bicycle? Is it listening to music? Then get in your car and drive and turn it up. Is it listening to birds? Is it walking down the city streets? Maybe you love to dance. Is it photography? Is it something that you've wanted to try but you never tried before? Try it. So that's my last piece of advice to you is find something to play at and do more of that. So there you have it. These are just my thoughts on how to dress in times of stress. Three pieces of clothing you should have in your closet when you're feeling stressed. And actually, they're good things to have in your closet for every day, no matter whether you're stressed or not. Prayer, people, and play. Hey, have a great day and thanks for joining me.